everyone, and welcome to our first ever game in the Pez May United 2007 series. Now, this will be the first game of the very first season, so it's a very exciting time, especially for our channel and for the club that we'll be taking apart and trying to help build up over the next couple seasons. And hopefully, we have a very successful series. Even if we don't, through the struggles, we'll build a great story and one that's very unique to ourselves. So, first game of the season is against Feyenoord in this second division match. So, I don't know how many games are in the second division. I think about 16. So, it'll be a smaller first season, I believe. I think in the second season we'll have like about 36 games. So, it'll be more traditional in that sense. So, some of the key players that are in their team is De Guzma, and Vlar, uh, Vlar, their center back, De Guzman is their center mid. De, uh, I guess De Guzman would be the more um, central name for that. But we get started in this match, and we have a very, very poor start. About two minutes in, Brown goes in for a side tackle. I thought it was like a 50-50. I thought he got the ball. Nope, he gets a red card for it. And I actually decided to start West Brown because he had better form than Vidich. And that just goes to show that that's not always the best decision. So, uh, West Brown out. I didn't really show much of the free kick because it wasn't very good. I did Guzman. So anyways, uh, this little part at the beginning of the game, I kind of switched around the tactics. So Zaha's playing center back until I get Vidich in, which will happen actually very soon. And then uh, we'll go into like a 4-4-1 formation with Wayne Rooney up top and that 10-man formation setting. So I saw Ronaldo on this side and I decided just to take it and we ended up scoring our first goal of the season. I was so excited by that. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo in his prime years, early years, I could say, like not prime, prime years, but in his very early years when he was just a bastic winger who did all this skills and flicks for United uh, before he went to Real Madrid and that was a really good goal. And we actually have a lot of key players do very well in this game, which I was excited to see. Um, Skulls is just dribbling people, dribbles too, and Rooney almost gets a good quick shot off to score. I thought he was going to score off that, not able to, unfortunately, but good attempt. And then Rio goes over the header here, and I thought we were going to clear it. Hoffs ends up doing very well, um, getting away from Vidic, and he just dinks it past Van de Sar, and that's a goal. And I was actually really worried here, because it's 1-1. It's still in the first half, and they have a good young core like Hofst, Vlar, De Guzman. And we have a, I would say, not as young team, but a little older, and we have one less player, so I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen. And then we have Neville take this ball in, and Park Jisun does well. He was another player that I decided to start in this match, um, which I'll get back to in a second because we're going to see. Beautiful goal by Paul Scholes here. Nice little header. He did a couple of those in his career, if I remember right. Those little headers in the box, whether it's off corners or off a cross. He was deceptively good at that, even though he wasn't the tallest uh, center midfielder. He would get up and he'd really well in the air, and that's another good goal by him. But anyways, so with uh, Park Ji Sun, I started to start him instead of uh, Michael Carrick again because he was in form, and um, I wanted to see how that would do with that because those are two creative midfielders. It isn't really like a set defensive midfielder. As we see Skulls, he gets back up for another header and almost gets it on target. And again, as I went through the match, I started to notice that a lot of our distribution uh, pushes us out to the wings. And I would say most of our chances come from good crosses and good headers. That might be a Pez 07 thing, um, because at the time the le leagues were more direct, especially in England. So that might be why more of my good chances were off crosses and corner kicks. But besides that, I'm okay with that because it gives you a lot more diversity. And a lot of newer Pezzes don't have that, um, especially in 21. I rarely ever score headers. So that was a nice little difference in comparison to new ones. So we see Fagnar doing very well here to move and get a shot. Renesar have to save. And Feyenoord were a decent team in this game. Obviously, we're United, so we should be doing better, especially in this era of Man United. And uh, we do really well as well, because you see Rooney almost gets onto a chance there, bobbles around. But again, Feyenoord 
they are they do have 11 men so they should be doing better than what they are we cut out a pass there we get Ray Rooney he almost gets in again again the center back does a weird little flick off him I don't know what his plan was there we are on the highest difficulty that was the other thing I wanted to talk about at the moment we are on I believe professional and then it goes top player and superstar so we're two below I think um, that way just get used to it they do uh, concede a card here uh, for Pardo a very malicious and just stupid challenge by him I don't know why he's sliding from the back there maybe that's again with the difficulty why it's like that and uh, We've been doing well in this match so far, and now we're in the second half. As you can see, 25 minutes into the second half. It's a little different with it, but Wayne Rooney is able to pick the pocket of one of the center backs, gets the ball, does a little shimmy around just to get it onto his right foot, and just curls it around, puts it in the ground, and it's 3-1. And that's really easy and simple. And United, we're now up 3-1 with a 21-year-old Wayne Rooney being the goal scorer with that third one. So Rooney scored, goals scored, and... Um, Ronaldo scored so three of the main players I would say of this team that I really enjoy did really well and That give, goes to show that we may have to make some changes some players that we don't want to leave might have to leave For instance, I know Gacy stayed at the club for his entire career But we might not have the luxury of having a 33 year old winger at left mid or uh, For instance like we still have Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We might have to sell him and that sort of thing because we do need to get below the team budget if we want to change. Another quick thing, I didn't put Adam Smith and Michael Carrick onto the match and took out Park Ji Sun. And I think I took out yeah, Wayne Rooney as well just to make it a little more interesting and also to give those guys some rest and see what our bench has to offer. Here, I just, I wasn't really thinking. I was thinking he was going to cut back and then before I knew it, he cut back onto his actual left foot, got the cross in, and then it didn't do much, thankfully, went over the bar, but yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to say is that I am doing this through emulation, so I apologize if sometimes it's a little choppy here and there, or if the gameplay stutters a little bit, I apologize if it does that, or flickers. Um, I will give the forewarning that if you do have seizures or lip epilepsy to be careful with the content because I'm not quite sure it's kind of odd sometimes how it does it so just forewarning but we did end up winning the match 3-1 I think that's a good result especially for us being away from home and for it being a match that we had a man down from the second minute so it's a really good result um, I didn't plan on upping the difficulty especially after that because I still want this to be an enjoyable experience for myself and for you guys to watch. If I'm just slogging out matches, trying to get a win here and there, or even trying to score a goal, it's not going to be as entertaining. And plus, we're in the second division, so we're just trying to get to the League A to Division 1 um, Avenue. So, that's all that is in this episode. Um, just a quick video. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next episode, which will hopefully come out in the next couple days, we'll do the next game against Celtic. So... Till then, I'll see you guys next time.